Well, from the chandelier to the popovers, what's old is new again at Macy's new restaurant at Ridgedale. Alicia Lewis shares the nod to history at the social kitchen and libations. was the place you'd stop to grab a bite to eat after holiday window shopping at the Dayton's, later turned Macy's in downtown Minneapolis. It was not easy work. You were on your feet a lot in the kitchen or if you were on the wait staff. Judy Goldstein will never forget her first job back in 1959, working at the Oak Grill, where back then it was a men's only club. She tells us it was the exclusive place to dine and the most popular item on the menu. The popovers. They were the kitchen. Dayton's was known for its popovers long before I began working there. I had one for lunch today, and there was no translation error from the original to what I had today. The Oak Grill got its start back in 1947 and served its last popovers and pop pies in 2017. That is, until now. Macy's has a tradition of food. We've been around for about 115 years. And the legacy restaurants in Minneapolis, like the River Room in St. Paul, the Sky Room in Minneapolis, and the Oak Grill, we wanted to sort of bring tradition to trend with a new restaurant, but yet kind of a throwback to the old as well. The Social Kitchen and Libations is located in the Macy's at Ridgedale Mall with a menu that Macy's regional chef Brad Saylor says may look familiar. If I had gone with grandma at holiday to the Oak Grill and the popovers came to the table and the, the heat came out of it when I opened it up and I spread honey butter on it and it's the memory. I captured the memory in that moment. So now I come back to a place like the Social and go, oh yeah, that's, that's it. That's the memory. I remember this food. It's awesome. Chef Saylor has hundreds of Macy's recipes in the company's historic archives dating all the way back to the 1920s, including some known favorites, popovers with honey butter, deli salads like the popular Asian chicken salad, pot pies and soups. Apparently, what's old is new again and still tastes great. We also have very trendy, bold flavor items, but we connected tradition to trend, and that's what's really cool is to walk around and see the smiles going, oh, popovers, this is cool. And we're so delighted to have Chef Brad Saylor in the Care 11 kitchen. Congratulations that she said there was absolutely no translation problems. That was awesome. Oh, you were so happy you said. I was. Uh, you, know, you know, it's great to have the traditions right back at Ridgedale, that's for sure. The popovers, we're going to make the fish. You brought a couple of other items. Um, so is this an item that was on the menu? I, uh, the recipes that you that you were able to get your hands on. How cool is that? From many it's, years ago. It's yeah. an awesome thing to, to look back on and, and traditions to trends, right? Let's do something old and something new and, and people love it. People so we've, we've had this on the menu a few times in the past, but in the next few weeks, we're gonna be adding it back in because we listen to our customers and they're like, hey, we want the walleye back. Want or the whatever. walleye so back. We're, we're happy to do it. So today I'm gonna to demo the almond crusted walleye. Okay. Uh, it really starts with um, toasting some almonds. This is going to be a big part of this flavor profile. So I just toasted these in an oven for about 12 minutes, 350. Got them nice and dark so you can see the color there. Yeah, they're great. And then I just did them in a food processor with breadcrumbs. So about a cup of breadcrumbs, uh, half a cup of these toasted almonds. And you can see I didn't really chop them up really fine. They're still going to be yeah. pretty good and crispy. So that's, that's going to okay. add, add some uh, flavor to the dish as well as some crunch. So the first thing we're going to do is just season the walleye with some salt and pepper on both sides. Okay. And then I'm just do a traditional breading station here with a little all-purpose flour and an egg wash, just a couple of eggs, a couple tablespoons of water. Just make sure the flour gets nice coverage there. And then we're gonna go into the egg and then into our breading. You guys open for breakfast, lunch, dinner? So we do a brunch on the weekends, okay. uh, Saturday and Sunday, today and tomorrow. So we open at 10 on Saturday, 11 on Sunday. We'll talk about some brunch items here in a second. But uh, right now, we're open Thursday uh, through Saturday for lunch and dinner. Okay. And... Pre-shopping, post-shopping, good idea. Exactly. If I'm the guy in that relationship, I'm going to be at the social at the bar <laughs> with our local cocktails. and. That's smart. Yeah, yeah. I like to shop, but I also like to have a cocktail when my wife takes her time with it. So then I'm going to go into uh, vegetable oil here, and I'm going to be very careful to put this away from me, not towards me. Oh, good plan. And we'll get a nice fry on that. Oh, that looks really good. So that's going to go for about three minutes, uh, four minutes on each side. We're on looking for side. an internal temperature of Okay, well, that's cooking. Let's mm -hmm. go through some of the other things. Okay, of course, you've got the beautiful popovers. 
and then tell us about the other items that you brought here, starting here. So this is the chicken chili. Uh, this has been around for quite a few years. You might have had it in the Sky Room if you were there before. We've added the corn madelines, which are del delicious. A little fresh uh, tortilla strips for crunch. Oh, wonderful. And this is gorgeous, the pot pie. The oh pot my pie. gosh. So this is a double crusted pot pie. Uh, you can get it with any of our sides, but we like to serve it with a garden salad. And uh, that's extremely popular right now. And everybody remembers that pot pie that they had, you know, yeah, back I'll in the day. I'll have the pot pie as my side. How about that? Exactly. <laughs> and, you know, I recognize this right away because I think I, my, I used to order this. My mom used to order this as well. Yes. Yeah. So this is number one. So this is the number one thing that we do, which is the mandarin salad. So obviously you can see the, the fresh mandarin oranges. And we've got a nice crunch with fried wontons on top. But this has got the colorful rainbow of vegetables inside. So there's pea pods, red peppers, uh, purple cabbage, things like that. And our our toasted sesame dressing. Well, we're going to wrap it right now because we're going to run out of time. But also, as you mentioned, you do have brunch on the weekends. Yep. It looks like a beautiful French toast Mimosa there. flight. Oh, and a mimosa flight. Oh, my gosh. Why did we even skip over that? <laughs> what are we thinking about? All right. Thank you so much. Have you stick around. We'll finish up this fish. Social Kitchen and Libations is located at Macy's and Ridgedale Mall in Minnetonka. And we have a link to the walleye recipe on care11.com. And you, of course, can text the word recipes to the number on your screen to get all the recipes we have on the show. We'll be right back.